Hi, my name is Dr. Lonnie Simpson, and I am the author of Dr. Lonnie's No Nonsense Bone Health Guide. And I am a bone densitometrist. I, that's one of the things that I do most days. Uh, I read bone density tests for often second opinions. And I can tell you that errors are very common, they shouldn't be. But this is the number two installation of <laughs> these errors that I see. And this is the second one that I've recorded this week. And um, these errors shouldn't happen, but the fact is the facilities do not have to have trained personnel. The reporting doctor doesn't have to be trained. Often the report itself is put on automatic and um, the um, technicians do not have to be trained. Not by the International Society of Clinical Densitometry, which really provides the best training. So they may have minimal training, but with the errors that I'm seeing from all over the country and different machines, I can tell you that it is not uncommon and people are misdiagnosed, uh, told they've lost bone or gained bone when they didn't. Um, and it's, it's pretty stunning. So that's why I've decided I'm gonna do a whole series on these because I'd like to see something done about it. Um, and whose fault is this? Ultimately, it's the imaging facility's fault in my view because the reporting doctor should know, be able to catch errors that are made, even if the technologist has been trained. Um, I had my own facility back in the 90s. I can tell you that if the bone density that I'm gonna show you right now was done in my facility, I would reject it and have it redone. Okay, so I'm gonna share that with you. So here we have, here we have a lumbar spine bone density. By the way, these are the images that you should get. Um, you shouldn't get just a report. Uh, they sometimes will give it to you on a CD uh, or printed pages, but you want these diagnostic pages because for, if you're gonna get a second opinion, like for someone like me, you, you wanna, I, this is what I look at. I don't trust reports. So in this particular case, um, this patient, was told that they lost 7.3%. See this number down here? Okay, see that number? Now, this is where it gets really weird. Um, she didn't lose, she gained 7.3%. So there would have to be a minus in front of it, in front of that 7.3, because it's comparing to the previous one, but there's no minus. And when there's no minus, it means that they gained. Well, apparently this doctor didn't know that. Now, I, I can't really put it on the treating physician so much because he's trusting the reports. We can't be specialists in everything. But how easy would it be <clears throat> for the manufacturers to put a plus there so the doctors would know? I've seen this error more than once. I made it myself early on, that was you know, 25 years ago. So um, that's what happened in this case. She was told that she lost 7.3%. And then uh, here's what happened. So she's told that she, she was not taking the medication, the anabolic medication for tail. And her bone density is, is quite severe in terms of loss. And for tail was the correct medication. And the doctor stopped it because the doctor felt it wasn't doing any good because he thought that she was continuing to lose on a medication that we know will actually build real bone. So that's number one. Then there is another stunning situation here where at the same facility, they have more than one bone density machine. So when they sent her in for the comparison, <clears throat> they put her on a different machine. So this doctor, her treating physician said, that, says to himself, well, maybe you know what well, you should be using the same machine. If you got the same machine for good, goodness sakes, use it. They don't half these facilities don't care. They just put you on any old machine. So then they sent her back to go back to the same exact machine. And he came back with the same conclusion. She had lost. Now you would think that re the report would and it would say positive or negative, but guess what? The report had under impression on both reports, there was nothing mentioned. No diagnosis. There were eight different doctors 
on the bottom of this report, eight different te technicians. And whoever writes the report, or whoever was a the technician, they just do their initials. There was nothing. I've seen three different reports out of this facility. Not one comment. This is like getting an x-ray report with no comments or an MRI. How outrageous is that? And then they just put their, so I know everything's on automatic at this place. Now further, so we have this mistake. And uh, I called her up, I first found this. I, I looked at it, because I like to look at them when they first come in, on, on New Year's Eve. And I called her up and I said, I'm giving you a New Year's Eve present. You did not lose 7.3% you gained. And she's what? And I explained it to her. She was dumbfounded. And she approved of me doing this because she said, I want to save other people from this. That's why I'm doing this, because something needs to change. Because bone density is great when it's in the right hands. So now I'm going to share the hip. Now, if you saw uh, the first installment that I did on these uh, airs, this is the same error I, I see again, which is that the lower line is not in the right place. It should be where, you see that little red line, it should be across there. And uh, what, what that does is it, and this shows a little smaller, but anyway. But what it does is it uh, makes it look like there's a better bone density than there is. So I would ask, guesstimate here, there's probably about a 6%, 8% difference. So that's gonna be lower. And why is this a problem? It's a problem because it's a problem because if the next technician does it right, it's going to show a loss. Now there are many ways that there are errors in the hip region in particular. I'm just showing one, increasing putting too much or too little of the femur shaft. And really only experts can, can, can tell this. It's very difficult for lay people. I mean, you can catch the really big ones. But <clears throat> it makes a difference. Because again, if the next time the person does it right, and this facility is not even bothering writing a report, then it's going to show about an 8 or 10% loss in a year or two year period, depending on when they do that. And that's huge. And that's going to make the doctor go crazy and pile more drugs in or something, you know, because that, that's, that is serious. When you gain or lose over four or 5% in a year, or even two years for that matter, that's pretty significant. And a lot of times an emphasis is the reverse. The person's going to think they gain bone. So in other words, if they did it right the first time, the second time they included too much of that femur shaft, it's going to show an increase in bone density. And I see this, unfortunately, in a lot of people who are on these exercise uh, routines. And then they're sharing their information about how they increase their bone density, like with this company called OsteoStrong. I've talked about it before. And it's always a tip off when it says, now 10% gain, 7% gain in the, hip in the hip region, which is really the femur. But I already know what it is. It's an error. But they think they gained. And then they spread the word that they gained. And now everybody's going to this facility for their exercises 15 minutes once a week. Sound too good to be true? It is. So it can go both ways here. And um, that's why I'm doing these DEXA errors. All right. Thank you for listening. And maybe, maybe we should start, uh, I don't know why, the posting the actual names of the facilities where these people had it done. Maybe embarrassment would make, make them want to get people trained and do it right. Um, and by the way, I shared one yet the left for, in the first one, I want to tell this story. Uh, because the radiologist, uh, and it's a similar situation. So the, uh, they included too much of the femur shaft. All right. And it showed a better bone density. So I'm talking to the radiologist who was on the report for this particular one. And he said, well, we don't really pay much attention to the total hip. It's really in all studies, it's the femur neck. And I said, wait a minute, there's two diagnostic areas in the hip. It's the femur neck and it's the total femur. 
And the total femur gives me different information. It gives me another data point to look at. It's it's different type of bone than is in the neck, or it's combination bone, you should say, I should say. And um, of course we want it to be correct for the very reason I just said. The next time that person's going to maybe correct it or a new tech is there and nobody catches it and it's gonna show either an inc false increase or a false loss. So uh, at the end, he finally agreed with me. But this is the radiologist saying to me, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now, how little did he know? And radiologists are not necessarily trained. They have minimal training. But you see, he didn't understand how significant that would be for the next report to go out and say, this person gained or lost when they did not. I rest my case. Stay tuned for number three.